This is different. Welcome Very back fun. to Sister Circle Live. <laughs> you know, we had such a dynamic conversation with the gospel music power couple, Warren and Erica Campbell, that we decided to bring an exclusive part of our sit down into our full circle discussion. Let's take a look. What got you yes. to that point of um, check in? Because we got to go through to get to that place yeah. where we're like, okay, mutually we love and respect mm -hmm. each other. We're all married here. Yeah. So this is a great counseling yeah. session for each of us. Yeah. We were both just too busy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just too busy and too into our careers. And he would say back in the day, I'm going to be on the grind for a little bit. No, I, no, no, no. I knew. I'll say, I'm about to be in work mode. Work mode. Work mode, man. Which means don't even think about it. I'm not coming home. I'm, yeah. I'm about the studio all night, you know. Yeah. It was that. Yeah. Yeah. And then it was the beginning of Mary Mary, so it was, you know, tough. tough. And I was like, well, fine, I'm on the road. And really, I think neither one of us really liked it. Mm -hmm. um, and the result was this distance that mm -hmm. was, uh, we didn't want it. I was like, yeah. I, oh, God, I'm about to be the divorced Mary. This sucks, no. you know? Yeah. And um, we took the time, a lot of prayer, counseling, being honest, you know, a lot of a tears. Therapist, seeing a therapist helps. Which a lot of us in our culture do not do, but, you know, that was amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We did the premarital counseling, but then somewhere in the middle, we had to go back and say, yeah. okay, we need a little tune up. Right. Help, help us, help us, help yeah. us, help us. Yeah, so the question is, did the grind ever work against you being a good partner? That is the question for Full Circle. And I'll kick it off. I was a horrible partner. I was a horrible partner um, when I was trying to really establish myself in the radio industry. Here in Atlanta, I would say yes to everything, paid, unpaid. I was so in the streets. And I remember my husband telling me one time, you give the whole world <clears throat> Rashawn Ali, and I can't even get a piece of Rashawn when you walk into this house. Because oh, wow. I was so, mm. I was tired all the time because I was just give, 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 and then I would just get home, and that was before we had children. Mm -hmm. I would lay down, then bring a child, the first child, Bailey, into the picture, and he felt like, he t it came up in counseling in year nine, that he felt like a single dad mm -hmm. because I was gone all the time, and I really want to chronicle that part of my life in a book called I Would Have Left Me. Mm -hmm. I've talked about I Would Have Left Me because I was so married to being this personality that I wasn't married to my husband. Ooh. Right. Yeah. So yeah, I'm so glad that we we, we went to counseling and we, we figured out what it means to prioritize mm -hmm. in your right. life. Mm -hmm. And you can't take any of this with us. Yep. We, we so can't take, but you have to take the love of your family. Obviously the first. love of God and the love of your family, that is what's most important. So yeah, I would have left me yeah. for sure. Well, I, my God, this, I can tell this segment's going to be uh, quite fascinating. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I mean, I, I, I understand that. Um, however, mine was a little different. Same kind of concept, but a little different. See, Kiwan and I were, our relationship was birthed from distance. Mm, okay. So um, he was overseas in Italy playing basketball, so we were used to being... 4,000 miles apart right. at any given time. When, and even when I had KJ, my first son, we would still be apart and I would have to fly 4,000 miles with a little small baby and all that. We did whatever we could to be together. Mm -hmm. But then when I started working and started doing R&B Divas, the reality television show, I was gone all the time and we moved here and he wasn't playing ball anymore. Mm -hmm. He kind of understood distance. Yeah. Okay. But then my children did mm -hmm. not. And I did not. Mm. I did not understand what the distance of being gone all day would do to me. Mm. Because with, with now having, with then ha having children. Right, having before children. Was okay. Because before me and him, yeah. we just moving around. We're yeah. used to being apart and still being in love. You oh, know, okay. I was doing stage plays while he was overseas, and then we get together. It was like, oh, it's more fun because absence makes the heart grow fonder. Mm -hmm. But when children got in, when kids came in the game, <laughs> and I had to leave my babies, and they mm. were little. My God. Yeah. When I tell you, it was torture. Mm -hmm. I used to cry. You mention my children, I start crying. Mm -hmm. It was awful. Oh I was never, I was not prepared for what this industry would do to me as, as a, a mother. mother. Yes. You see what I'm saying? So the industry, uh, well, not the industry, but when R&B Divas came, because that was a different thing for me, that really um, took me, took me out because being an inter uh, a recording artist, I make my own schedule. I'm my own boss. I do my own thing. But you know how it is when you're on a reality show, it's uh -huh. on their time, yes. really. You know what I'm mm. saying? So for me, it affected more me as a mom. Okay, mm. got it. Well, for me, I have a little bit of a different story. Um, I, of course, I'm going through the process of getting a divorce from a, a physician. Mm -hmm. um, but for me, going into the marriage, I always understood 
the responsibility of a physician. In fact, I conditioned myself to say you will be number two mm -hmm. and his patients will be number one. Mm -hmm. I understood that he would be on call. I understood that there will be uh, late evenings at the office. I understood that sometimes even he will come home and be extremely tired, emotionally mm -hmm. and mentally just exhausted. I understood that. Um, I understood that a lot of things will probably fall on me as the wife and the homemaker. Although I did have a profession coming into our marriage. I was already in medical sales. Um, so I understood his grind. I think when things kind of began to take off for me and more things were added to my plate, he did not understand my grind. Mm. And I think mm -hmm. that's where a big challenge came in. At. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. Un unfortunately, that happens a lot in professions when, 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 when women yeah. have that professional yeah. you know, mm -hmm. uh, career. Um, as women, we're expected to accept that secondary role. Yeah. Um, I, I, like I said, I, ha I have two husbands. Mm -hmm. And when I was married the Would first you tell time. What, does, what is a husband? husband? He was my husband. Mm -hmm. okay. There you go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, twice. Was, okay. Two, two of them. Mm -hmm. So with my, my first <laughs> husband, you know, that's when I was a part of the Braxtons. Okay. You know, I had my baby as soon as my, my son Eric came. You know, I was on the road. We were in Japan for three months consecutively. Mm -hmm. Consecutively. And th that's really hard on a marriage, especially if we were young parents mm -hmm. on top of it all. And we both really didn't know ourselves. Then on top of it, you know, bringing a baby right. into it as well. Um, and he ended up cheating on me, but we'll leave that alone. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but ap after the Braxton, we went on a hiatus for a while and I wasn't on the road. So when I married my second husband, he didn't, have to worry about me being on the road like that. But then suddenly, I was with Tyler Perry. Mm -hmm. Nine months, meet the Browns, mm -hmm. on the road. Mm -hmm. He didn't have any children, and he took on the responsibility of raising my children. Wow. You know what I mean? Which, and, and if you tell him they're not his children, he's ready to fight, by the way. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, but he had to kind of gravitate into that role while I was still on my grind, because he, he worked from home. So he had this full responsibility of children well, he doesn't even have any. Mm. He still doesn't have any biological children. Wow. Love you, but hate you at the same time. Big ups to you, Gabe. But um, <laughs> it's, it's really it's really difficult being the woman in a relationship yeah. and being that 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 person that has to be away. It's acceptable when, when it's for men. Man. Oh, he's on a business trip. It's yeah. typical yeah, yeah, for yeah, men. Yeah. Blah 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 blah. But when we're on business trips for months at a time or weeks at a time, you know, it's it's a lot more we're, for them can, to deal with. Yeah, and and I think sometimes our society judges. Yeah, they do. Lot, you know, and and there's a lot of criticism with that. Man. We could talk about this for yeah, we could. a couple, long couple, time. couple more minutes, man. Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Tell us your thoughts.